Right guys, welcome to my kitchen where today we're making a spiced vegetable stew, zero point. So this is the recipe on the Weight Watchers website and hopefully it will look something like this delightful thing. Now I know today is not ideal to make a stew, um, but obviously if you like uh, stews and things, um, this will be great for when it's maybe a bit cooler. So in my big pan here, you can see um, I've got some diced onions. I've got two diced onions and I'm just cooking it in a little bit of coconut oil. If you have the points, use coconut oil. If you haven't got the points or you don't like coconut oil, you can obviously use a calorie controlled cooking spray. So adding to my oil, what I'm adding is a little bit of ginger. Okay, so just a little shake of ginger, that's in there. And then I'm just gonna stir that around. Then I'm also going to stir in some mixed spice. Hi Janice, hi Tracy. Um, so, <coughs> that's strong. Oh God, that's really strong. Right, and then it says, if it starts to stick to the pan, add a little, oh. I wasn't expecting that. Add a little bit, a splash of water. I might add a little bit more. <laughs> I think the pan was getting a bit hot there. So I've got those two spices and my onion in here. For those of you who do know good cooking things, I ordered some allspice from um, Asda and they didn't have any in, so they sent me this mixed spice. So I am hoping they are the same thing or else uh, it's gonna have a very weird flavor, my stew. But mixed spice smells like Christmassy. <laughs> okay, so that's added in there and we're just going to cook that for a few moments. Now what I've done, it's got two carrots and I cut them into longs, a little bit bigger than batons. And what I'm gonna do is throw, and I parboiled those, so I just boiled those for five minutes. And I'm just going to stir those carrots in with the onion and spice. Now you may be thinking, why is he making this video so early? The reason is, is because it's a 90 minute recipe. So what I'm doing, I'm cooking most of it now, and then we're gonna do a part two later on when I finish my classes, and we're gonna finish off this recipe. So this is just the basic bit. Okay, so the carrots are now added to the onion. Then, this bad boy is a plate full of butternut squash. Uh, Michelle, hi Jodie, me and my friend Janet from Litchfield Golf Club just been to watch Mamma Mia. Oh great girls, I'm sure you enjoyed it, I bet you loved it. Um, so what I've got here, now I've never cut or got prepared before a butternut squash. Now for those of you that have done it, have you ever tried to de-seed a butternut squash? It was really quite disturbing to be honest, for a gay man. <laughs> It was awful to put your hand in there and get all those seeds out. It was absolutely disgusting. Um, so thankfully, uh, that's it. If you don't know what a butternut squash looks like, it's one of these bad boys from Spain, this one was from. Um, so that's what it looks like when it's been peeled and cut up and the camera nearly fell over then. Hi Sharon, welcome to the live video. So then I'm just gonna add that butternut squash to there. Now already you can see this is gonna be a large portion. So I'm just gonna mix all that in. Oh, I feel like I've got a whole thing of potatoes in there. <laughs> Obviously now sweet potatoes, because normally I like using sweet potatoes in recipes, but they are quite calorific compared to butternut squash. This is why you'll find a lot of Weight Watchers things will recommend butternut squash. Uh, Anita, I'm glad you find my butternut squash story amusing. I have got my lovely apron on, thanks to Maureen at my Burton DW Aqua class. Okay, so then we have the butternut squash in there and that is all mixing in well. Now, what we need to add is two tins of chopped tomatoes. So that's one tin and that's two tins. 
If anybody's hungry, by the way, feel free to come round to mine about nine o'clock to watch Love Island and enjoy this, because I've got enough for like eight people. <laughs> So that's all mixing in well, look. You can see the tomatoes, the carrots, the butternut squash. When I had that butternut squash curry, by the way, and the butternut squash burgers over the weekend, they were really, really nice. So I'm hoping it's going to taste similar. Now, you're probably thinking, you know, it's a bit bland. What else is he going to add? This is where the magic starts to happen, guys. So when I read my actual Weight Watchers uh, recipe, how to do it, there's a massive bit where all these spices are missing. They're on the ingredients list, but it isn't in the method. So I'm guessing I just throw them in now. So what I'm going to add is a teaspoon of coriander. So coriander, ooh, that's lovely and green. Um, and then half a teaspoon of cinnamon. So again, that cinnamon will give it a really nice flavor. The good old favourite cumin, throw that in there. It said hot chilli powder, but I'm just going to use a mild one because I'm not that keen on really, really hot foods. But I do like a bit of a kick in it, so make sure I add enough of that. And then one eighth of a teaspoon of cloves. Now one eighth of a teaspoon, I need to be really careful with these. I reckon that's about four of them. I hate these things because you like... You know, and you get find them in a curry. But I'm going to add them because it says, oh, they actually smell quite nice. Uh, Tracy, we'll try and catch you later. Looking forward to seeing it done. Can you post me some? Don't do the violin. Yes, I know you don't, Trace. Um, I don't think it will last very well in the post either, Trace. You can't hear me, Jill. Turn the volume up. Woo! And then lastly, we need to add in some vegetable stock. So that's 250 mils of vegetable stock. And you can see now by the consistency, it is actually starting to look like a stew. So I'm mixing everything in there. And what we need to do now, we've almost finished part one of the video. You'll be pleased to know, you mentioned yesterday, guys, that you hadn't seen my flatmate for a while. So he's about to make another cameo. Come and say hello, you dress nice. They thought I'd killed you because they hadn't seen you for ages. Not yet. <laughs> maybe one day, maybe. Yeah, if he does ever disappear, guys, it wasn't me. That's all I'm going to say. So then we need to then boil this or simmer this for the next 40 minutes. So 40 minutes. Hi, Nicola. Hi, Anita. Um, and then later on when we finish this off, I'm just going to add some kale which I've chopped here ready, and some chickpeas, and then cook for another five minutes, and then I'm all done. Now, you saw on that lovely picture, um, it was served with something that looked like rice. What I'm actually serving it with is this coconut, sorry, not coconut, cauliflower rice. And how I've made that is, you meant to do it in a food processor, but I have done it in a blender, and all I did is just popped it into the blending machine, which I've borrowed the lovely Omar's power blender. Um, and all I do is, is mix that in, and then it does come out. But obviously, if you've got a food processor, it will turn out a lot better. So that's it, guys. Guys, for part one. Oh, do you love kale? I'm not, it's a bit bitter for me, kale. I'm not a big fan, but the way it looks with the uh, butternut squash, it's going to be really nice. Right, guys, so I need to get ready for my classes now. So we will be finishing this off about 8.30 tonight. Um, and we'll have a spicy vegetable stew. It's goodbye from me and it's goodbye from Omar. He's still alive. Bye.